what a freaking draw. Sometimes I think dad is clearly have no time for me when I want it. I just wish there was some other way to get ice cream myself without having to involve dad. Cause sometimes he doesn't well want me to get what I really need. Dad quit this I want that pink doll toy okay, right over there. Stop pretending you can't someone. hear me. Worry, I know I you can. Get you the toy but you have to. Get me that doll. Come on dad this is every day now. Okay, I am sorry about all this mess. It's just my daughter acts bratty every time we go out. I always try to do what I can to make her feel calm. It's not that easy. I will hit your head if you don't do what I specifically said, and that was to get my pink doll. Is this what she does when she's out in public? Pasty. I am on phone talking to somebody. Now keep calm, I'll get you the toy. Here, going, we're going to get you your toy. Finally. So let me try to refresh my understandings. So, Clyde brought a photo to work and to hit some picture with a half naked girl in it. Yes, and I am trying to clarify on how Clyde even brought a girl to his house. I don't think it was a past friend he met years ago, could it be? I really am not sure about this, Jonah. Do you still have the photo? I want to see this picture Clyde brought. It's right here if you want to see it. What? Why would Clyde bring this to work? Also it was, this girl is a five-year-old. What kind of drug sense was she on? I got to throw up that was disgusting. I just can't wait to see my intelligent and proud son. I bet he's enjoying the best job he could ever ask for. Well I'm gonna go see him and ask how work was today. Because I know, in his words, he can help us out with anything. Well how's my wonderful son doing on this fine day? Tell me about it. Work was a killer and so hard whelming. I had to grade so many papers, and one of the printers went working so I had to fix that one. Also had to finish up my projects. But hey. A son needs to do a lot for his family. Woo. Glad to work with a boss that knows the best and greatest employees. Good to hear. So another thing I'd like to ask you. Where's the photo you took with me and your mom? Oh I kept it in my bag because I would hate for me to misplace it. Like I did with other stuff. So it was smart to take it with me. I'll go get that wonderful photo out of my bag so you can see it. Alright. Time to shine this memory. What's the matter? You get it. Dad, there is no photo in this bag. I really did pack it, but now it's gone. What? Why is it missing? Did you take it with you like you said you did? I really did do that. How did it go? Vanish. Disappeared. I closed this very tight. It shouldn't have went anywhere. Alright, alright, hang on. Did you take your photo out? <laughs> Oh no. I left it at work. Don't worry son, I'm gonna call work and tell them that you left a family photo back at work. Please, do. Hi, is this Gossity Trinity Center? I'm calling because my son left his photo back at work. Yeah, uh, but, about that, one of our workers had witnessed a girl, about, five years old, half naked, in his photo of his, he brought to work. Which that is not allowed in any circumstances. I'm not playing. It had a picture, of a five-year-old girl, half naked. Sorry. <laughs> Five-year-old girl, half, naked. What? Wait, what hell nonsense is he talking about? Since when did a little girl show up at our house? More importantly, what in the world she would be doing in our house? Son, get over here please. I want the truth.